Good evening, my friend. How are you? Hello. Fine, and you? Good evening. Very well. Thank you. Hi, guys. How about St. Michael? I'm fine. I'm fine. It's hot and humid. I can hear very well. Okay, let me see. Thank you to your internet. How are you doing, guys? How's everything? Very well. Fine, teacher. Doing great. How are you? I'm doing all right. Thank you for asking. How many people do we have? Nobody. Gabriel, Rocio, Fernando. Ah, Rocio, I don't see your big smile anymore. What happened? <laughs> uh, hi, teacher. Hi, let us see you. Come on. Uh, it's because I'm brushing my hair. <laughs> you don't need to brush it for class, don't worry. No, it's because I'm working, so um, I used to brush my hair at nine, so I'm doing that right now. <laughs> uh, also, it's here as well. Okay. Hey, well, we only have two more classes. Hello. So. Hello, teacher. Do you hear me? Yes, I hear you. I think okay. you're having bad internet connection. How are you, Otto? Otto. Very well. Doing well. So, something tired. I was moving in the garden. Somewhat tired. Somewhat tired. Okay. Yes. I, I was working in the garden. Okay. Um, did you enjoy it? Uh, yes, I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it. I did. I enjoyed it. Right. Okay, let me share my screen with you. And let's go to the platform. Okay. See where we are. Yep. Okay. This is the final exam. I think we're going to have to do this tonight. All right, and get the answer. Who has done this part? Who has completed this? Okay. Me. Uh huh. Who else? Who has completed this part? Mm. Otto, not yet. Rocio. I was working. Yes, I already did it. Okay, some of you already finished. Yes. Very good. Only one. No. Okay. Wait, I'm going to mute everyone. All right. Okay, we're going to do this listening exercise. Um, in case you haven't done this, please access the platform, section A of the final exam. Okay, the fact that we're having or that we're doing this exercise right now doesn't mean that we finished, okay? We still have two more classes tomorrow, Wednesday, and on Thursday we have two more classes and you're required to join. So even if we finish the platform, we still have to continue attending classes, all right? So here's the listening, but let's read the first, uh, the questions first. Fernando, would you read number one, please? Fernando, I don't hear you. Okay, Sergio, can you read number one? Okay, the number one say, Jean likes her new apartment, apartment because, because. Mm -hmm. uh, Very good. Number two, Santiago. Um, Seth wants to live downtown because he's were there. Okay. No, no, not the answers yet, because we haven't listened oh, to really? it. Okay. Just, just the questions. Yeah, we're going to go over them. Fabiola, mm -hmm. number three. Karen's apartment is. Uh -huh. Next. Read the option. No. No. Okay. Alparo? Alparo, I don't hear you. 
Dad wishes his new apartment were. Okay, very good. Now let's listen and answer. We're working on section A for the ones who just joined or the final exam. Listen to the conversations. Check the correct answers. One. I just love my new apartment. That's great, Jen. What do you like about it? Everything. First of all, it's not as noisy as my old apartment. Yeah, it was pretty noisy. And another thing, it has two bathrooms. My family visits me often, so it'll be more convenient. That's good. And what's the rent like? That's what I like the most. It's not as expensive as my old apartment. I can finally start saving some money. Two. I was late to work again today. There's just too much traffic. I know. And then there are never enough parking spaces. Exactly. I can never find a place to park my car. So, Seth, why don't you move downtown? You could live near your office. I'd like to. The problem is, I really can't afford to live downtown. It's too expensive. But at least you could save some money by walking to work. Three. I wish I could find a new apartment. I'm ready for a change. Why, Karen? What's wrong with the place you're living now? Well, it's dingy and cramped. I don't know why I rented it in the first place. I mean, it's very safe and private. I just wish it weren't so small. What kind of place are you looking for exactly? Some place that's more spacious, but not too expensive. Good luck. Four. So, Doug, how do you like your new apartment? I love it. It's great. What do you like about it? Do you remember how dark my old apartment was? Yeah, it was kind of depressing. Well, my new apartment is on the top floor, so it's nice and bright. Is there anything you don't like? Some of the apartments on the first floor have a small garden, and I'd like to grow flowers or maybe a few vegetables. So I kind of wish I lived on the first floor. I guess you can't have everything. Okay, did you get the answer? What's number one? Or would you like to listen to it one more time? One is it's cheaper one. than her old apartment. Yes. Apartment, all right. Two, Rocio. The second one? The second one? Yes. Okay, Seth wants to live downtown because he works there. Great, also. Uh, number three? Yes. Yeah. Okay, let me see. Uh, Karen's apartment is too small. Okay. I'm going to accept that. And number four. Minta? This is new apartment. Oh, which is his new apartment? On the first floor. On the first floor. On the first floor. All right. Let me see if everything is right. And it is. Awesome. Great job. Okay. We have completed section A. Now let's go to the vocabulary part. Letter B. Number one. Jacqueline. Jacqueline Duck. <laughs> yes, teacher. Uh, I love my neighborhood. It's very safe. Okay, very safe. I'm sending a message to the group. Oh, there are too many absent students. All right, to Carla. Sorry, can you repeat me? Number two, please. Number two. I live on the I see. Noisy. Okay, could be. All right, one hope. If to have parking spaces near my apartment. Convenient. Convenient. Okay, thank you. Make sure you move your microphone again. All right, four. Uh, it's convenient. Um, 
Sergio. The real I was going to say. Sergio, go ahead. Okay. Uh, it's modern and very bright. It has huge windows. Huge. Huge. Huge windows. Okay. Huge windows. Huge. Um, private. Awesome. Okay. Very good. Are you guys working with me on the platform? You are? Please join me. All right. Now let's go to section C. Um, enough and not enough. Number one, Fabiola. Fabi. <laughs> Our apartment is too small. There are not enough rooms. Not enough rooms. Okay, too small. Connected. All right, too, too small. Too small. Right. Number two, Flor. Flor. Hello. Hi, number two. People can see into, into our house. There is not not privacy privacy and no it's enough no well not okay, enough guys when you see g h everybody move the microphone again please unless i call your name thank you all right when you have g h at the end of the word it sounds like f Okay, for example, words like this, la, all right, like this, stuff, okay, that GH sounds like an F, and in this case, it is enough, okay, that GH sounds like an F if it's at the end, okay. Um, do you know the meaning of la, stuff, and enough? Laugh is when you go yes. ha ha ha, right? Okay, tough is a synonym of, of hard or uh, rude. Enough, you know, the opposite of not enough. <laughs> anyway, um, is it not enough privacy? Lord? Not privacy. Mm -hmm. Not enough privacy, like this. Forget number three, Herbert. My car is too small. It doesn't have no space. Enough space. Enough. You're going to combine that F sound with the S, F sound. So you should sound like in the, this symbol. I'm going to put the symbol over. Enough space. Enough. Like this. Enough space. All right. Thank you. Okay. Let's see if that is right. I'm going to send it in. Bam, 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 bam. Great. No mistakes so far. Awesome. Please work with me on the platform. So you will have your platform completed by tonight, hopefully. Okay. And when are we going to use many or much? Do you guys remember? Yes. yes. Comfortable and uncomfortable. Countable, no countable, awesome. You're gonna use many for countable or uncountable. Countable. Countable, and much for uncountable. Uncountable. Okay. All right, number one, who hasn't participated in this? Catherine? Okay. My arm doesn't have many windows. One. Doesn't have many windows. Yes, the first one. The first one, yes. Oh, well, this is absolutely wrong, guys. I mean, many windows is okay, but it should be, it doesn't have as many windows as my old apartment, okay? Apartment. So, remember, Sorry. yes. No, 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 but it's not your fault. <laughs> as many, as many windows. S, all right? 
So if we're saying... Okay. No, no, it's not your fault. Don't worry about it. <laughs> I mean, many windows is okay. The sentence here is missing as many windows as my old one. Very good. Two, uh, Jose Hernandez. I haven't seen you in a while, Jose. Uh, I'm sorry. Uh, I, my relative is in the hospital. Oh, no. I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm uh, sorry. So, uh, our house is um, as convenient as your apartment. As your apartment. All right, awesome. Yes, this one is okay because we have S and S. Supposedly, we're using that. Okay, uh, next, Carlo. Carlo, is that one Carlo? Carlos. Okay, it says Carlo. Uh, <laughs> want to sound uh, Italian uh, or something? <laughs> a mother apartment often don't have as much space as older ones. Great. And let's send it, see what happens. Yeah, everything is right. Except the first one, but it's a problem of the platform. Okay. Leo, when did you go to the jungle? <laughs> I had a student in space tonight and now you're in the jungle. What is going on? <laughs> so well, space traveling is already taking place or what? I'm just messing with you, Leo. It's okay. <laughs> All right, number one. Let me see. Miguel Campos. Mm. Miguel, read the instructions first, would you? I don't like my new home is wish it were more fun. I wish. All right, let's see. I don't like my new job. I wish it were more fun. Because when it's something uh, hypothetical, when it's imaginary, you're going to use were instead of was, right? It, it, was, it was more fun. I wish it were more fun. This should be right, where. I think both are used nowadays, but I want to check. Hold on. I'm going to check where, all right? But both are right anyway. Uh, number two. Let me see. I Ramiro. can find. I can find my new cell phone. I wish I could find it. Sorry, hold on, Ramiro. I don't hear Ram Ramiro. I never hear Ramiro. There you are. Um, it's just internet connection. Okay, Andrea. Since I can't find my new cell phone, I wish I could find it. I wish I could find it. Awesome. Thank you. Next, Gabriel. Gabriel. Yes, my fr my boyfriend isn't in good shape. I wish he were in good shape. He in good shape. He were in good shape. He was. I see he the tree. Where or he was, guys? He were in good. He were. In good. He were. He were. He were. He were. Shape. Yeah, you see, you see, the ideal thing, guys, is to say where for everything that is hypothetical, hypothetical, for everything that is hypothetical or imaginary, like I wish I were taller is imaginary, it will never happen, right? You usually use where. This is the correct grammar point, but nowadays, you know, it's becoming used or it's becoming common mm, to, to use was, right? So both will work, but try to use were instead. So that you sound more educated. So let's see. And before we continue, I would like you to make a pause, 
practice, have some fun. So we're gonna discuss some questions, all right? Let me see, I'm gonna send them to WhatsApp right now and make small groups. While everybody joins, I'm gonna send that. So it's not on WhatsApp yet, but please check, all right, in a minute and accept the invitation meanwhile. So let's practice speaking. They're just fun questions to discuss for your fluency, all right? So accept the invitation, please. There it is. Te estoy mandando algo muy importante. anything else i guess it's a kind of routine you want to avoid don't you think so oh yeah how old are you i'm 23 23 oh yeah very younger you're very younger very young yeah young, very younger young, than very, you very yes, young. <laughs> yes very all right what are you talking so about? We, uh, we were talking about how we were doing today and because i see Otto is a person who really likes to speak so we oh, were just having yeah, a little nice. yeah yeah it's, it's kind of very nice guy so we just had a little conversation about how we're how we're all day mm, oh what's our day how are we, how our day was okay how i think you the questions was. you're gonna discuss okay this is gonna get more interesting yeah. and try to include carlo let him speak as well all right all right thank you so um i already sent the questions by the way sorry it's long <laughs> Are you reading the questions? Yes. Okay, awesome. What do you find hilarious? Hilarious. Hilarious, but most people don't find funny. Mm -hmm. ¿Qué encuentras? Don't... Andrea, you're lonely here. Um, I'm alone. <laughs> Let me know next time. You can send a, a message here through Zoom. Hold on, I'm going to move you with... Um, these guys okay so the invitation
Teacher! <laughs> Hi, now there you are. Okay. I'm here. <laughs> Great. I wanted to see that smile. <laughs> ah. Milton, I don't I never see you, Milton. Yes, I can't yes, remember your did. face. I can't remember. Milton, 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 Milton. The bed is let me see. At least let me try to remember. <laughs> okay, are you discussing the questions I sent? Ah, uh, okay, Milton. All right, yeah. There you are. Yes. Where is your, what is, um, what was the best of your, of your life so far? Right. When you, when you, we, with your friends, it's more comfortable to, to express your mm. um, ideas with, um, with more freedom, funniest. Yeah, sorry, fun. teacher. <laughs> With more yes. confidence. Teacher, okay. uh, 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 the fourth we, one we, you can skip. Teacher, I, I we have a question. Mm -hmm. Go ahead, uh -huh. Jacqueline. Oh, uh, I don't understand well the idea with hi hilarious. Uh, hilarious, hilarious. You have funny. Hilarious. You have hilarious. Hilarious. Mm -hmm. Okay, so hilarious. Super funny. Okay. More than funny. Oh. More, or up. Yes. Or what? All right. And number okay. four, don't discuss. Okay. Because it's too confusing and it's not worthy. What was the best of year of your life so far? People don't find funny. Uh, I don't know. Uh, the less people fall. The less people fun, Sunny? Yes, uh, Oh, <laughs> uh, but what, what do you mean? Like, try to explain it in another way. Uh, I watch uh, the videos, the people, uh, the runner and Paul. Oh, and Paul. I, what you watch is uh, this funny videos about Paul, yes. I yes. guess. <laughs> yeah, being honest with you, I, I enjoyed it cause, and I don't think I'm gonna go to hell for it because of that because I don't think it's that bad so I think it's funny too don't worry sorry Santiago that was a mistake sorry really one second, one second. Mr. Santiago no wait, right. wait that was a mistake <laughs> this is too big one second all right continue guys there all right, so who else want to participate? I guess we have Andrea Gomez. You want to participate? Yeah. Uh, yep. All right. <laughs> and Andrea see. too. Uh -huh. Okay, number two, I guess, right? Yeah. What was the best of year of your life so far? Oh. What was the best of year? Mm. Let me tell you a story. Uh, last month, I, I mean, it was in January, I guess. I had the opportunity to visit Greece, and it was amazing. I think to do what? I'm sorry. It was a drink. Greece. No, I don't I understand what that is. Sorry. Grecia. I have to go to Greece. Okay. Mm -hmm. And it was, it was amazing, you know, it was a dream come true. Yeah. So, mm -hmm. Is that, that Greece in your picture? One of the best. Yes, I have a lot. Okay. Awesome. All right, you can go on. All right. Help. What far you have your own isn't popular anymore. Uh, no, number four, don't discuss. Just go to number five. Okay, here we go. This is really okay. What do you Rare. spend? 
most of your time doing? Ah, that's an interesting question, Sergio. What do you spend most of your time doing? Okay, in my case, I spend my full time uh, see, uh, watching video on YouTube. <laughs> okay. Yes, I agree. <laughs> and you, Leo? Uh, well, I spend my time um, I'm doing exercise. Oh, look at you. Yeah, I, I like to uh, run. I like running. Yeah. Yes, I spend my time uh, touch, rest touch in the amar car. <laughs> the guitar. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Touching my guitar. <laughs> <laughs> no, yes. I'm not touching. No. In the hamaca, not. <laughs> you know, you're not touching your guitar. You're playing. You, you. For me, you, uh, you, you will play in there. Yes, I know. <laughs> and you? Are, you? are you working from home? Yes, I'm working from home, but I need to connect. In, uh, I need to connect. Um, the all day yes every day okay every well, in, day <laughs> well in my case as and we were discussing i like to uh, spend most of my my day watching uh, useful videos i could say or, or uh, trying to read about uh, grammar topics that i i feel that that i'm uh, Lack, lacking of knowledge in, in that matter. That, Are that, you working in your your house? From your house? Uh, the, the thing is that in my case, I, I have uh, uh, at the end of my shift, one of, of these days I, I was uh, riding my bike home and then a, a car just ran me over and, and well, I'm, I'm just disabled, so actually I'm not, I'm not working. Oh, okay. Did you get any bones broken or something? Yeah, actually, I, I broke my tibia and fibula, and I... Oh my gosh. I, I, I have a, 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 um, I don't know what kind of alloy it's. I, I don't know if it's aluminum or something like that, but I, I have a plating that uh, joins my, my two bones and, and at least nine Are you screws. Pain? No, no, I, I, I spent uh, at least uh, 10 months, I guess. So, uh, I could say that I'm I'm pretty pretty well. Okay. Well, I'm sorry for that. Yeah. Hey, Jose, if you want to practice specific grammar tenses, I can recommend some some things. So okay. Me, me later. Okay. Because I know you're trying to improve quickly. Jesse, could you huh? provide a I don't know a little advice? about uh, how can we improve our fluency? You're very fluent anyway. I think that if you're having any issues, it's because of your grammar probably. Because you're pretty fluent. Um, okay, that's good to that's hear. That's why you got a job. Otherwise, uh, if you have good grammar, but you have no good fluency, you don't get accepted. It's the other way around. You only need to work on your grammar. I'll see if I can send, um, if I can send you a book or something so you know what to study. Okay. Okay. Thank you. What question are you discussing? Uh, the numbers. Maria Los just joined. All right. Hi, Maria Los. Can you hear us? Hi, Jose, Ramiro, I and Maria Los. She's on Nut. Yeah. She and Ramiro are on Nut.
Hello, again. <laughs> Did you enjoy that practice? Did you speak a lot? Yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes. We're Full practice. To, I, I was speaking with different groups. And it was nice experience. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, yeah, sorry about that. Video. Okay, guys, we're going to continue practicing speaking, okay? And tomorrow we're going to finish the midterm. So, because I expect you to join and to try to finish it on your own and then just compare the answers. So, I sent you another one, another set of questions. These are new questions, so check what's up. And you're going to practice with different people in groups of, of three or four. Some of you are going to be in groups of four. Let me see. Yeah, this is too small. All right, in groups of three with different people so that you can continue practicing your fluency. If you make mistakes, please correct your classmates. Let everybody speak, okay? So discuss the following questions and I'm gonna be monitoring you. Here we go, accept the invitation, please. Let's discuss the new questions, the new ones. Hi, Santiago. Hello, Leo. Hi, how you doing? Hello, Hi, Miguel. Thank you. Miguel. Hi, thank you. Miguel, Miguel. Hi, Leo. Hello, Miguel. 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 Oh, you, 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 you're a uh, What do you, you, Josh, what do you, Josh, people for most often? Um, well, in, in my case, I, I often judge people by the kind of music that they like to hear that they listen to that they listen to <laughs> okay so how do you determine whether a person is not a good one what kind of music do they have to listen to <laughs> uh, well, in, in my case i i like uh, uh, for example heavy metal uh, Okay, so if somebody listens Some to reggaeton or, or, or banda, for example, you wouldn't like that person? Well, I consider that if a person likes to listen to uh, banda, it's because they have been uh, in a recently... Uh, a recent... Broke, in a recent broke up. In a recent uh, breakup. Breakup. Okay. And, and that could be a, a, a good reason to... to are the assumption. To that, that kind of music. <laughs> <laughs> what do you judge people for? Sorry, I don't hear you. Ah, sorry. Um... I think I judge people for the, how do you say, comportamiento? Behavior. Their behavior. Uh, and uh -huh. about, he, about, about behavior. Uh -huh. For their behavior. Yeah, because in um, some case, the... I... I cry in that person, but when I hear about um, her talking about gossip or inventing something about other people, I don't, I don't feel better with, with that person. You don't feel well or good. Okay. <laughs> okay, so one. It is okay. 
the, the others. And you, man? Well, in my case, I, when I went to the Pital in Chalatinango. Ah, it's good. It's good it's view. Is, it's, it's beautiful view. Yeah. It's cold. Yeah. True. I, I like cold. <laughs> yes. I like the cold. Number like 12. Cold. What is something you have read or heard that has <clears throat> stuck with your for with you for a long time? No, Miguel. Hola. Uh, you have problem with your audio? Mm, es el internet que tengo que oh. salir a, a salir así como a la calle para que poder tener más. Oh, no. <laughs> no, no, don't go out. <laughs> Stay at home. <laughs> I, I, okay. So the platform and I like it. Also the t-shirt that is here. <laughs> <laughs> I like the I don't I don't have any any question. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm talking about the classes. It's good. Yeah. I like your accent and the, the the way that you teach. So I like the classes. Oh, you're talking about that? Why? <laughs> Why are you talking about that? So we were talking about, about life, our, uh, what we are doing. The quarantine, the jobs. Uh -huh. <laughs> All right. Well, it's good you like it. And and I didn't hear you say, talking all in my back, right? Like, <laughs> But no, the teacher is oh. terrible. And I'll be like, excuse me? Teacher, <laughs> I, I like your videos. Oh, but you have uh, just you. only three on YouTube. No, there's six now. Did you see the, the newspaper article from El Diario de Hoy? You didn't see that? No, I didn't see it. Mm, okay. I don't know if I should share it with the group. I don't know. I was hesitant. Maybe I will. Maybe I will share the article and the report tomorrow. I, I already showed your videos to my wife. Oh, really? You told her not to. <laughs> she <laughs> likes also. <laughs> really? Yeah, Teacher, it's a what, really good experience. Uh -huh. Where do you learn English? In El Salvador, many years ago. Yeah, really? people... Sometimes. <laughs> no, like 14 years ago, I started and I learned advanced. But let's say, even though I worked in English with native speakers and I lived in the United States, I became more proficient at it by becoming a teacher. So that was like, like the last level, becoming a teacher. So yep, mm. it took me a lot of years. To be an advanced student, it took me three years total, studying every day, like you do, Monday through Friday. Oh, yep, it takes a while. That's about it. Yeah, I'm gonna send tomorrow. I'm gonna share with you those the news. Maybe <laughs> say something yeah. though, don't ignore me because then I'll be bad. <laughs> be like, <everybody. laughs> no, we are paying attention. Interesting. Right. No, 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 I'm saying yes, tomorrow. Yeah. I'm gonna send you uh, the links and all of that so you can take a look if you're interested. But that's nice that they that your wife liked them. Alvaro. But I was curious, curious about that because your accent is, is it's good accent. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. Yeah, no, but it was you, not because I moved to the United States. Uh, it was just like that by listening and repeating. So I would recommend you that listen, repeat. If you have, you're playing a movie, play it, pause it, repeat, play it, pause it, repeat, and that's how you can imitate them. You don't need to live in the United States to have a good accent. <laughs> yep. <Okay>. Someday. <laughs> <laughs> no, start practicing for now. Listen and repeat. In vacations in three years. Uh huh. Watch series, but don't listen only. If you do that, it's not going to improve. Listen and repeat. That's what's really effective. And practice, no? And practicing as well. Yeah. Okay, I have you, to ask everyone else. You recommend mm -hmm. us, we have to um, practice watching TV or w what is the best way to, to get 
or improve our English? Um, <laughs> I'm going to make a video about that. Because <laughs> 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 it's a common question, but yeah. No, the thing is, look, if you are passive in your learning, you're not going to improve. So if you only listen and you only read, it's not going to help you. You need to speak. Okay, that's yeah. what I'm saying. If you're watching something, repeat it. Okay, if you're okay. reading something, you need to read out loud. Okay, not, not inside here, but read out loud. And if you don't have anybody to practice with, it doesn't matter. So if you can do it with videos and repeating or talking to yourself. You can also think in English. So when, you're, when you wake up in the morning and you say, oh, I need to go to the bank today and I need to do this and that, don't do it in Spanish, but in English, and that's going to help your fluency a lot. So all of those tips. In my previous job, I, I was to speak English every day. I but after that, I didn't practice mm -hmm. anymore until now. Yep, use it or lose it. <laughs> yes. You have to practice every day. I still study every single day I study English. Can you believe that? And it's been 14 years already. And I still study every day. So there's the, the language with the biggest vocabulary is English. So there's a lot, a lot of vocabulary to learn. Yeah. Yep. So you have to study every day of your life. And the thing is that even if you become fluent, you need to work on your grammar. So that's why these kind of programs are, are important. So you can study the structures. So it's really essential. When I... A story the grammar I feel like a little bit boring uh, no but it's important because uh, in the other group I have two students who lived in the United States for 14 years and 10 years respectively and they're studying intermediate three why because they need grammar that's why even though they lived there for 17 years so You can't escape. You cannot escape grammar, even if you don't. They <laughs> they talk like niggas. <laughs> huh? Kind of. <laughs> exactly. All right. I'll let you practice. Hold on. Okay. Yes. How's your computer? Eh, no, es tan tan buena, la pero. It's not so good. Hey, why are we speaking Spanish? Well, I, I wasn't speaking Spanish. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> he throws you under the bus. <laughs> no, but he, he you said that because we were speaking in English. I'm okay. sure. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Yeah, we only have two more minutes, so. All right. And Carlos, what's questions? something you can... Uh, we, we had arrived until the 15th one. Mm -hmm. Sorry. What's something you can do That much the the different cartoons. Okay. Like Doki. Dora oh, so Park. Ah <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, that no. no show. Fourteen question. Let me see, please. Oh I sharing with us. Okay. 14. What's something that people go on and go on. about and you just can't take seat in trouble? Oh. <laughs> uh, tunnel. Tunnel. How do you say it? Tunnel. tunnel. What? Tunnel. Tunnel. Mm -hmm. Okay, in the Air Force, when, when it's ranging a lot, sometimes uh, in the tunnel of Air Force, do you, do you know, Leo, it's, it's attacks mm. the cars uh, mm -hmm. because they cannot cross because have a lot of water, you know, there. And yeah. probably one day I, I, I'm going to the Oriental place. And and we got a three hours to pass it away <laughs> and that and that a, a big the traffic there. Monsignor was, Ramirez. 
was was attacked there all the traffic nobody moved all right those were some deep questions some of them right <laughs> That made you <laughs> that made you think about your life and your decisions so far. I think <laughs> pretty deep questions, not to ask your crush, but yourself. I would say. Um, I feel like I was left aside. I didn't participate. So I would like to answer one question. All right, you can ask me mm. any of those. I would like to answer because I didn't participate. I was the only one who didn't. <laughs> Teacher, can you explain the fourteen topic? Let me see. What I don't I don't it's understand. What something that people go on and on about and you just can't take seeing go. Ah that if somebody tells a big story and you cannot sit down to listen to them, you get tired. That's what it means. All right. Ask me one of the okay. questions, guys. I'm going to answer and then we're going to finish, okay? One of these questions. Choose one. Any question. Not about grammar, okay? I'm going to answer one of the questions, like you did. <laughs> can, you, can you answer the 15? No, the 15 question. How do you calm yourself down when you are angry? Yeah, that's it. <laughs> number, number 18. Really? That's right. <laughs> and then the one to the hundred. hundred. I, I can't see the, the questions, guys. What's number 18? Number 18. When was the last time you tried to do something to look cool and it ended in utter embarrassment? <laughs> you think I try to do something cool? <laughs> I can't remember that could the be last a good time one. I tried to do something like that. No, I can't remember. Okay. I will have to think about it. <laughs> Uh, but number 15, no, another question you asked me, right? What was it? Uh, how 16? do I calm myself down by singing? When I sing, I, I calm myself down. I feel relaxed. And by taking naps. Yep. What type, okay. of, <laughs> what type of songs do you sing? <laughs> um, I don't know, songs sung by women that are romantic. It's not that I, like, I like romantic <laughs> songs, but they're good to sing. I mean, they're just suitable for me. No, not J-Lo. Any song. Okay. Thank you, guys. Happy, happy, happy. Did you practice a lot? I hope you did. Thank you, teacher. <laughs> Thank you. Tomorrow we're going to finish the midterm, but try to finish it on your own first, all right? Thank okay. you for being class, and I'll see you again. Bye -bye. Thank you. Bye -bye. Thank you. Bye, -bye. Bye, -bye. Bye, -bye. Bye, bye. Have a good night, everybody. Bye, everybody. Bye, everybody. Bye, everybody. Bye, everybody. Bye, everybody. Bye, everybody.